It's exactly the opposite of most concentration, which is to concentrate on details. We try to concentrate on as few details as possible. So what I've done to develop that is um, I have, let me go ahead and spotlight myself for my screen where it says Ken Goldman demo. And uh, let's see, you can all see this. This morning I did a few quick warm ups. Can you see the timer in my hand? And I have it set for 30 seconds. And what I did was I, I took, I have my little uh, things, my little PDF set beside me and I just scrolled down. And so starting on the first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I go about these. And one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of chances to do the silhouette, which is only 30 seconds. And then when we go to the two minutes section, which is um, going to be after we do our silhouettes, you'll have, uh, it'll, be, it'll be separate. And you can choose the best of the two that you created for yourself. So what I, let me just talk you really quickly through this. And also when you're doing your, um, your drawings, I'll be doing it too. And I'll, you can either watch me in the small window or you can pin it if you don't feel like doing it yourself. Is that correct, Amanda? That's the way it can work. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and set the timer for 30 seconds. And I'm working on the first, uh, the first image where the model is looking straight forward. And I'm setting my timer for 30 seconds. And here I go. And I'm going to talk through it. So what I do here is I usually start with the side of my chalk. And I just look for the basic angles. And I go down, I'm working about the, a little larger than the size of my hand. And I go all the way to the bottom and try to keep things vague, mostly looking at the angles. Notice how the head tilts a little bit. So I just put that in like that. I put the angle of the arm in. And that's 30 seconds. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you a couple of chances to do that. And you can see it's very vague. Because when we go into the contour drawing, we're going to really be violating everything, practically everything that I've just done. But what it does is it gets you into the pose. So in order to do two minutes and not have to change my timer, I'm going to do 30 seconds and then 30 seconds and 30 seconds and 30 seconds over and over again. So I'm going to start now. Assume that you had just done two of these yourself, these rough silhouettes of the entire figure. Here's how I go ahead and start. I pick the favorite one and I'm going to hit the timer and I go. You can start anywhere you want on these, but I usually, and this is contour drawing, so I'm just starting on the shoulder and I'm kind of moving down. I don't even lift my pencil. I'm looking at the angle of the arm. I look at the little negative shape in here and that tells me where the hand is. Come back this way and I come down a little bit further and then I cross over to the crotch and go back up to the pit of the neck. Okay, another 30 seconds. I go back over to this side and I pick up this little thing. So I'm kind of putting a puzzle together. And the beauty of contour drawing is it forces you to look at shapes as you're working. And for the foot, I don't get into details. I just go down like that. And then once I put this foot down, that tells me where this foot is. And I draw the little negative shape and then get the bottom of this foot. And then I can come back up again, another 30 seconds. I'm going to come up to the head and I just do a little cylinder for the neck and place the head very roughly. And now I have a little more time. So I'm going to go to the bathing suit and pick up the breast area. And I'm real big on finding the center line of the figure because it really helps to give dimension as you're working. Now, this is my last 30 seconds for the two minute pose. Here's where I start to sometimes, if I have time, add cylinders. The cylinders on this part of the arm show that it goes back. The cylinders on this part of the arm show that it goes forward. Here, I'm looking down on her, so I indicate forms like this. I might have time 
to do a quick T on the head, the T being the, le the horizontal of the eyebrows, the nose, and the mouth. And then I come down and if I have more time, I could continue to refine it, but this is the essence of a gesture. Um, let me just quickly do the head to show you. And for the head, usually you don't need as much time, but for the head, it's the same kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start. And I just do the mass. Usually I just give the students, I, I teach at a high school too, I give them 15 seconds for the head because it just moves so fast. And that's all they usually need. So let's just go ahead and assume that that was my time right there. Oh, okay. It's a new timer. Okay, I gotta set again for 30 seconds. Okay, so on the head, once I have this part, you notice the angle of the eyes and the eyebrows? I just very gradually indicate this, and that to me is what I call the T, because it's got a, a horizontal top and a vertical nose shape, and it goes down to the mouth, and you can see it's not really following so much what I did originally, but it got me into the ballpark, so to speak. And here, I just indicate, and when, when we get into more, when we have more time, I go into the proportions of the head. I have all kinds of videos I send, but when I get this far, uh, that's 30 seconds. Okay, another 30 seconds. I can start to come in. I'm using the vine charcoal now. I'm not trying to be perfect. I have a saying, don't try to make it perfect. Just make it better and better, which indicates the nature of drawing be a pro being a process, a process of making mistakes and correcting them, not trying to get it perfect. And when you don't get it perfect, feeling so frustrated, here's another 30 seconds, that you don't want to ever continue drawing again. So that's the attitude I try to foster in my classes right from the start. Also, it's not a, we have a lot of different levels in the class, so it's not about uh, how good you are compared to somebody else. It's about what you can learn from watching other people. Notice how the ear is down at the level of the mouth. That tells me that I'm looking up at this model. And so those are little things that you learn to understand as you go along. Here's another 30 seconds. And now I can go ahead and feel where the pit of the neck might be. And you notice how I kind of started in the center and worked my way out. A lot of times we're taught to do an oval and fit the figure, the features in it. I don't really believe in that because I think it, it makes it difficult to get the outside, which is less important than what's happening on the inside. Really, this area here is the likeness and that should be your focal point. If you can get those relationships together, you've got yourself a likeness. So, what do you think about that? <laughs> okay, so um, what I'd like to do um, um, is real quickly, we have, um, what, what do we have, about 20 minutes? I'm gonna turn my page over now and I'm going to be talking you through the exercises starting with the top one. We're not going to do the heads yet. We're just going to do the figure. So what I'd like to have you do is maybe about the size of a hand. Let me um, take it out of spotlight too. So, so you can pin me if you like. Is that correct, Amanda, that I should take it out of spotlight? Yeah. So okay. um does everybody have the images that we emailed you so you can, because you're going to actually draw from those um, screenshots. Is there anybody that doesn't have those? Okay, Lawrence, anybody else? Um, you, excuse me, use the ones in, that you sent in that PDF or use the three shots that were uh, attached e to an email? Either Whatever, one, Jeff. Whatever's easiest for you. I just yeah, didn't know I, which, I didn't know which picture which of the three images you're going to work from? I can't. The top I one see. first. First one first. Yeah, front view. 
That's logical. <laughs> Lawrence, do you want me to email it to you again? Oh, excellent. Okay. Good. Is everybody said, Amanda? Yeah. So my paper's on a little bit of a slant. You can see that if it was best of all worlds, it would be straight up and down. So that's where I'll get a little distortion. So I'm going to do 30 second silhouette. I'm going to actually do a couple of them. And you can either follow along or watch me. So here we go, 30 seconds. I'm going to start with the head this time and go right to the shoulder, to the arm. I'm trying to just think, I'm not doing outlines, I'm doing mass. And then I go all the way down to the bottom. I've actually gotten better now than I did on the last one, because that's the nature of warm-ups. You warm up, and you get a little bit better. So I have five seconds left to go, and that's good enough. Okay, now I'm going to do it one more time, and I'm going to pick the best one of the two. Here we go. This time I'm going to start at the shoulders, go up to the head, go to the elbow, go down the side of her, the right side of her, come to the other side, go straight down this leg and just curve to where the foot is. No details, no worry about details. Five seconds left and that's good enough for me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna select the second one. I like it a little bit better. So I'm gonna now switch to my vine charcoal. And the vine charcoal, now this gives me a chance for two minutes, and you as well if you're drawing, to be able to refine everything. Okay, and your mark, get set, go. I'm gonna start on the shoulders here and go right up to her head. And I can't see it all that well, because it's a little bit small, but that's okay, because we're working on um, just seeing the general whole shape. I'm going right to the center line and I'm coming down and doing the top of the bathing suit and then the shoulder tells me where the arm is and then that I'm going to do another 30 seconds here then I just draw this little negative shape in here which tells me where the hand belongs as you get better at this you'll be looking at negative shapes as much as you'll be looking at positive shapes I'm going to raise this up a little bit higher. Fine charcoal so easy to smudge away. Indicate the breasts. I'm going to go to this far hip now and come back in. Okay, another 30 seconds. So I'm way off in my length, so that's no big deal since I'm not a perfectionist. I just correct it and come down, smudge away what you don't like, find this other foot and look for the negative shapes between the foot and the ankle of the other one and then I go up to the knee which is where I see it heading. One more 30 seconds will give us two minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and indicate that this part of the arm is facing backwards by doing cylinders. This part is facing forward um, I can start to make little corrections. You're not looking for generally just accuracy on these quick poses. What you're really looking for is the, um, the movement of the pose. And even on the longer poses, we start this way. And that's it. That's two minutes. So um, let's go ahead now and um, scroll down one to the middle one. And this is a, what I would call a three-quarter pose. And I'm going to once again give you 30 seconds to get in the, the silhouette. Oh, did you put this down? Um, oh, you're sharing the screen? Can they still watch me while you're sharing the screen? I don't think so. So I just thought I'd put it up really quick so they could see which one we're doing. And then I'll okay. take it. Yeah. yeah, that's the one we're doing. Okay, and here we go. On your mark, get set, go. So this is more of a side view, so I'm going to 
kind of do a pear shape, the whole thing. And the head is fitting up there. The arm comes in this way. One leg goes out and I just go straight down to the bottom. Okay, that's time. Real quickly, I'm gonna do a second one. I'm gonna do it a little bit smaller this time. Go. Move my page over a little bit. Coming into the back, which arches in versus the stomach, which is a convex. Concave versus convex. So much of the body is like that. I'm trying to get the sense of balance that she's actually balancing over her right foot. And that's it. So now we're going to start again. This time I'm going to use, um, I'm going to go ahead and just start with the edge of the pastel, which um, is another good way you can go rather than going directly into the vine charcoal. So here we go, starting. What's nice about this particular site too is if you do the head, they always give you a nice close-up of the head at the same time that they give you the rest of the figure. It's a really interesting site for models. And the lighting is usually pretty good too. So I'm doing the forearm and I'm looking at this little negative shape on the back and how it hits the butt and where it hits the butt that's where I find the hand and then I come back out again another 30 seconds and go around to the crotch and to the other side and to the belly I'm not really even lifting my chalk I just kind of move around like I'm a beetle crawling over around a piece of fruit or something maybe that's a bad analogy but that's the one that came out and then I come down this way And then I can see that her, her left foot is down further than the right foot. So I just place the right foot and then draw the left one and come in. Now with this, all this extra time that I have, I'm gonna switch over to my, to my regular charcoal pencil, which is an option. And I can start to refine a little bit. Now these are not, they're, they're meant to look a little rugged and kind of rugged is really good in a way because it kind of shows the personality. We have another minute left, so I'm hitting it again. Shows the personality of the struggle that we go through. I do the cylinder of the bottom of the bathing suit and then I'm going to think of this leg as a cylinder coming forward, which helps me with the foreshortening and a cylinder of this one going down. I'm always thinking in terms of cylinders and blocks to simplify things because that really is the visual language. One more 30 second pose. And now I have a little more time so I'm going to go ahead and work on this arm and I'm going to just do a little bit with the head. I'm going to get the T, which is a little bit more slanted in this one. And for a quick pose, you don't really need to do much more than that. And maybe indicate where the shoulder is. If you had time, you could actually get into a little bit of shading now, like that. And that's that. So I would, if, if the model were taking a break now, I might come in and do something like this just to, and then maybe take my finger and smooth it out a little bit like that. And you start to get another element working in, in your drawing. Okay. Now let's switch down to the last of the three, which okay, is a total side view facing the other way. Before we go to the third one, how's everybody doing? Anybody need help with anything? Yeah, how's everybody doing? I'm only moving fast because I know I need to. I'm actually a very slow, patient teacher, probably even more patient with you than you'll be with yourself. It's okay, fine. No what question. I'm is, 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 is the, the part tuned in for anyway? <laughs> what was that? It's going to take a while to be trying to see the uh, proportions on 
is hard is hard work. So watching you how you do it is instructive enough for the moment. Yeah, and it's it's even hard for me. And with these quick poses, I don't worry about it. When we get to the longer poses, we actually um, learn techniques of measuring. And so this this is kind of going by the seat of our pants. A lot of people don't really who learn figure drawing don't learn how to go past the stage, which is one of the things I brought to the Athenaeum when I came back from New York in 1986 and started teaching here. And um, I it was the first time I was giving people poses longer than 20 minutes, and I would have them hold the same pose for nine hours, and they didn't know what to do with it. Oh wow. <laughs> But actually, two weeks is a better amount of time. <laughs> anyway, here we go for the third one. That's how Mark, long it is. set, go. This is a, a total pear shape for me. I just see the, the inside of the back coming in to the butt. The butt often connects to the stomach. That's one of the things we look for. And then coming down the side, I come right down to the feet, thinking as if I'm drawing a silhouette on a sheet. It's like the model is standing behind a sheet with the light facing onto her from behind, and that's all you can see is a silhouette. So now that I have this, I'm gonna do one more quick one and see if I can do a little better. Okay, go. The idea of doing two like this actually only occurred to me last night because a lot of times when you get done with your first one, you think, God, why didn't I do this or that? Well, now you can do it. Okay, so I started with the arms this time and now I'm going right back into that overall pear shape. And then I follow the angle of the belly down to the foot. Okay, now this time I think I like my first one better. So one of the things I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and start on this. And once again, I'm going to start with the edge of my pastel. Ready, set, go. I can't wait to hear what people think about this <laughs> after it's all done. Because I know I'm going fast and I have no idea what people are making of this but you signed up for gesture and so gesture you're getting what I'm doing is I'm drawing the angle of the upper arm and where I see the lower arm hits the breast that tells me where to start down at the bottom another 30 seconds that takes me down to the bottom of the bathing suit and I go all the way to the other side and hit the buttocks and then I, that tells me where the bottom of her right arm is. And I go right into that. And so you can see I have the torso figured out almost as just flat shapes. Then I move further down into the legs. This one is actually pretty much following my original proportions. One more 30 second. Or do I have two more? I'm not sure. I could cheat. Okay, I'm gonna go into the charcoal now to just refine some of my lines. Oop, fine charcoal breaks very easy. Do I have another 30 seconds, Amanda? Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to take another 30 seconds and just finish up the head. I think I did, actually. When we do the real th things, I'll have a timer set for two minutes at the same time. So I won't have to do 30, 30, 30, and 30. So now I just start to reinforce some of my line work. And I think... Um, That should about do it on that one. Okay, so rather than going into the heads right now, because I showed you one head, um, <coughs> let's go ahead and do some sharing. If I can find that vine charcoal, 
Can you look for the vine chart? But I don't want to roll over it it's somewhere on that, that side. Um, this is what on Zoom. What we do now is I'm going to unspotlight myself, and we have breakout rooms, or some people, if they're not a, not too shy, can set can show me right over the screen, and I can pin your video. So does anybody not shy? <laughs> that wants to show me what you've done so far. Oh, Lawrence, hold on for a second. Okay, everybody's doing it at once, so I'm not going to spotlight right away. You guys did great. Oh my goodness, Barbara, that's got a real good movement to it. Oh, wow. So if we had more time, I would be able to really... Um, I could take you into a break room and do a screenshot of your work and draw over it a little bit. I don't think I have time for that. Let's see. That's Erica. Erica, that's you got a good sense. You must have modeled before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Karen, very nice. You know, you know, I'm real happy with this. And uh, one of the hardest things for people to learn is to think in terms of the overall mass when they're working on it. And I think some of you are beginning to do that. And I think when you do enough of these over and over again, you get to the point where you see the justification for that. Um, does anybody have a specific question? I'm really just trying to keep into the time frame. I think Abby asked a question in the chat. She said, what is a site called where the photographs have been obtained? Oh, I would have to send you uh, that. I'm not sure. I think it's draw this or something like that. We, I switched to that. You know, we, we tried using live models and I use, I love using live models. I'm one of the biggest supporters around and we had to switch to this because it was too hard to get good lighting sometimes and great resolution. So when we go back to real classes, we'll have live models again. But for now, this is what we have to do. So um, gosh, these are great. Uh, Jeff, those look good. I, I like the, the way you overlapped. Very nice, Erica. Let's see, and keep showing me. Keep showing me, everybody. I just want to get a feeling for it. And, and Finch, very nice, very nice. The one on the upper right got a little short-legged. The anatomical center is right above the pubic hair. Uh, Jean Ferranti, you have the anatomical center in exactly the right place. Um, let's see, Elisa, Alyssa, do you want to show anything? You don't have to. This is like a free-for-all right now. These are really remarkable. It really is. I'm I'm re I'm very pleased because I had no idea how this would work. Let me see a little bit further from the camera, Elizabeth. A little further back. You you know the light. Your light is shining in and blurring everything, so I can't. But it looks good from what I can see. Lawrence, do you uh, have a good time? Good. <laughs> I saw you say yes. I lip, I lip read you. <laughs> Alyssa, very nice. Hold it up again. Let me just see. I like the way you overlapped the bathing suit there. Um, good, Barbara. Erica, very nice. I love that nobody's shy. That's that's really important. Well, okay. Well, I'm happy with it. Um, if any of you want to see more i can sit i have other um, pdfs that show a little bit of more about how i do my quick sketch i don't want to do it now i don't think there's time for me to share the screen and show it is there amanda so yeah so what you would want to do is get in touch with amanda and she can let me know if you're interested and i can send you another couple of pdfs that talk about how i do watercolors and how i do my pencil drawings and what it's like to do a longer pose. Okay? Do you, are you okay with them emailing you directly? Because they have I'm your email. I'm perfectly address. fine, yeah. 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 Happy just... to have you email yeah. me directly. Any of the watercolor 
exercises would be good. Yeah. I actually, the only reason I have step by steps is because I have a wonderful student who was willing to take um, screenshots of everything I did oh, as fantastic. I went along. I have screenshots of Erica actually that mm -hmm. were really helpful to everybody. And um, that would be in one of my demos that I can share with you. So you can see the step by step on how I did a drawing of okay. her. And then we have, um, uh, we don't always have that option if if I think she's actually going to take the class again in January. So we'll have the ability to do that. And what I'll do is after um, the class is over, I usually make up a really nice um, PDF and I send it to you. So you have a complete recap of everything we covered. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. So I, I try not to um, let Zoom get in the way of how good live classes are. <laughs> in fact, I try to build on it. There's things about Zoom that are even better, like being able to get close up to the model. You know, you can, uh, you know, there, there's, there are advantages, but it doesn't take away from life. Okay. It's great, Ken. All right. Very good. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you so much. See you in awesome. January.